Welcome back to Sam's Watch Review. This is a tutorial video for this watch, Casio F10AW. And if you want to know more about this cool watch, you can check our review. I will put the link in the description. Okay, first for the timekeeping mode, you can change the time format from 12 hour to 24 hour format by pressing the start stop button on the top left. This one, so this is 24 hour format. And this is the 12 hour format, 9 pm. And vice versa. Okay, next, to activate the backlight, you can just press the light button on the right uh, part of the watch, right side of the watch, okay? And then for the LCD check, you can just press all the three buttons at the same time. And the trick is to press the start stop button a bit earlier or the light button a bit earlier and then the other two after that. So you might want to hold the watch in this position and yeah, press this one first and then the other two, okay? and it will show all the segments on the LCD uh, screen and then after that you can press whichever button you want but let me just press this one and return to the timekeeping mode and then the next one is the Casio check which is uh, common for many 3 buttons Casio like this one and then the W217 to 18 to 19 and F91W and so on so to do that press and hold the start stop button on this watch it's on the uh, top left side and hold okay and it will show Casio on the screen okay and then the next one we will set up the time and also calendar and to do that press the mode button several times until we get to the uh, setting mode or adjust mode this one as you can see here the second is flashing or blinking and you can change the second to become zero by pressing the start stop button on the top left if it is 30 or more it will become zero with additional minute but if it is 29 or less like this one it will become zero without additional minute okay and to move to the next item just press the light button and now is this one the hour and you can increase the number by pressing the start stop button so 22 23 and so on Okay, again press the light button and now is the minute. Again, use the start stop button on the top left to increase the number. Okay. And then again the light button and now is the month. March, you can increase using the start stop button. April, May, June and so on. Okay, and then press again the light button and now is the date. 23. So you can also use the start stop button to increase 24, 25 and so on. Again the light button and now is the day, Saturday, you can use the start stop button to increase or to move forward, Wednesday and so on. Okay, and then press again the light button and it will return to this one, the setting of the second. And if you're done with the setting, you can just press the mode button and now it will return to the timekeeping mode. For the next mode, the alarm, just press the mode button and it will show this one, AL, meaning the alarm. And you can set the time, so this one is 5.30 in the morning, but let's say I want to set the alarm at maybe 6.45. To do that, press the light button on the right side of the uh, watch. And now the hour is flashing or blinking. So let's say 6, and to increase the number, just press the start stop button. Okay, and then let's move to the minute. And to do that, press the light button, 30. So let's say uh, 6. 45 so to do that press the start stop button and hold in this case until uh, nearing 45 and then I press one by one so now 645 okay and if we press again the light button it will uh, finished okay and now you can select which features are active so this one is the alarm is active but the hourly signal or hourly chime that gives a beeping sound every changing of the hour is not active so this one is only the alarm and if you press the start stop button at this uh, uh, screen now it's showing that this is the bell meaning that the hourly signal or hourly chime is active but the alarm is not okay if you press again once more both are active the alarm and also the hourly signal press again and both are not active so in this case for this video I will show you if both are active okay and yeah, that's all for the setting of the alarm. Anyway, for the alarm, this watch also has the alarm sound check. 
and to do that press and hold the this one the start stop button and it will gives the alarm beeping sound okay now let me uh, return to the setting that uh, I showed earlier so both the alarm and the hourly signal are active okay now let's move on to the next mode and that is the stopwatch and to use this one you can press the start stop button to start okay and then use it again to pause or stop you can press again to continue press again to pause or stop and use the light button to reset okay you can also use it for split time so press the start stop to start and then use the light button to split so now 327 if I continue or if I push the light button it will not continue to 328 because now the time is running in the background so I can uh, jump to the latest time that is running the background okay and if you want to stop or pause use this one the start stop button okay and press the light button to reset and actually there's also another uh, way to use the uh, stopwatch but that's uh, rarely used so we will just skip that one okay and yeah that's all for the settings and also operations of this watch and thank you for watching i hope this covers all uh, the setting and operation that you need and if you have anything to add just put in the comment below anyway if you like this video don't forget to click like subscribe and i will see you again in the next video have a great day